वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल स्टेटिस्टिशंस क्लब आई होप एवरी वन इज़ फाइन प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब द चैनल ऑल्सो प्रेस बेल आईकॉन टू रिसीव लेटेस्ट वीडियोज टूडे वी डिस्कस सिंपल हाइपोथीसिस एंड द अल्टरनेटिव हाइपोथीसिस If we want to solve the question of hypothesis testing, this is first step. After reading the statement, to form simple hypothesis and alternative hypothesis according to the statement of question. What is simple hypothesis? A hypothesis in which all parameters of distribution are specified is called simple hypothesis specification means or specified means the parameter equal to exact single value generally the simple hypothesis can be stated as h not denote for null hypothesis theta is equal to theta not here theta represent the parameter and theta not indicates any specified value of the parameter we understand this concept with the help of example suppose the height of college students are normally distributed with variance sigma square is equal to 3 and the mean of hypothesis is h not mu is equal to 52 we know in this statement two parameters variance and mean are specified the distribution will be the normal distribution and the parameter of distributions are completely specified so this is the example of simple hypothesis now we move towards composite hypothesis a hypothesis in which all parameters of distribution are not specified is called a composite hypothesis composite hypothesis is the inverse of simple hypothesis and mostly it represent the um, um, alternative hypothesis composite hypothesis will be theta greater than theta not theta is the parameter and theta not is any value of the parameter or uh, theta less than theta not here we discuss the example about composite hypothesis if we hypothesize h not mu greater than 52 and sigma square is equal to 3 or we discuss other condition h not mu is equal to 52 sigma square less than 3 these two examples are composite hypothesis because we did not know their exact distribution in first example we know the variance but uh, mean is greater than 52 we do not know its exact value and in second case mu is equal to 52 but we did not know sigma square less than 3 its specified value so um, in both examples we did not know exact distribution so this is the example of composite hypothesis and composite hypothesis are explained mostly with the help of alternative hypothesis obviously the parameter mu greater than 52 or sigma square less than 3 this is an um, um, other example um, um, uh, the third type of uh, case that exists 
both parameter did not equal to specified value in first two examples we discuss one parameter equal to specified value is here is sigma square and here is mu and in third um, uh, type both parameters um, are not equal to any specified value this is also the example of composite hypothesis so in conclusion you know if par all parameters completely specified then this is simple hypothesis and if the parameters uh, any single are both parameters do not specified completely then this is composite hypothesis here is the important point the concept of simple and composite hypothesis applies to both the null and alternative hypothesis thanks